Hey there, Postal here. So today we're going to take out uh, one of my favorite planes in the game, uh, the F2H. Let's take a look. Alright, so we all know the F2H. Tier 9 on the tech tree on the American Heavy Fighter line. Rotbar. Uh, you can get it two different ways. You can go, well, either way, you need to start with the um, American Light Fighters. You can get it by going down the full uh, Heavy Fighter line after that. Or once you're to the P51H Mustang, you can jump over to the F6U, which is another great plane. Um, these two planes are very similar, actually. But F2H, just hands down, one of my favorite heavy planes in the game. Tier for tier, any tier, pick a tier. I absolutely love this plane. Um, let's take a look at today's gameplay. Easily still one of my uh, favorite heavy planes in the game. Let's see what we can do. Let's get our rockets knocked off here. Get them going that way. Let's get how pretty this plane is. Um, so we'll drop off our rockets and then we're going to save our boost so we can go straight up after this. So. Up, up and away. I mean, we pulled all these planes down to us. That's pretty good. I mean, I guess. Doesn't really matter in this plane. You want to go up high? It'll go up high. Of course, you know, if I didn't overheat my guns, it would probably do even better. Still got plenty of boost available. So we'll boost around. Did we not, uh... Oh, we didn't get the center there. Ooh. Ooh. This is gonna say, my rockets uh, didn't do very good, but did I? Oh, we'll trust them to flip it. Sure, they'll flip it. We'll continue on our, uh... Aircraft is going to be much better suited being somewhere else killing things. So let's go ahead and go do that. A4B, not overly afraid of that thing. The human on the enemy team is an FJ1, if I remember correctly. Let's go over here, see if we can mess up this mining facility. Leave my 210 alone. Excellent. Let's go down here and get somebody. Nope. I'm going to crash into the damn ground. I know it's been a while since I've done that, but it's only been a while since I've done that because it's been a while since I've played. So, or, you know, played consistently anyway. There we go. How you doing? Up and over. Air brakes on, guns out. Excellent. Alright, so, taking a look around, is there anything I can use a couple rockets on to get flippeded? Yes, so we can use some rockets right there. Go. Oh, GA's back. Let me see if I can get this one building knocked out first. Apparently not. The downfall of four 20 mil cannons is that there's only four 20 mil cannons. Quite good. Oh, I did not make a big enough turn. Oh, thank you for turning away from me. I appreciate that. Um, you know, they're not, uh, not the best for taking out ground clutter. K-1 
Can't really see through the smoke, man. Is my bomber dead? I think they are dead. And we still haven't gotten a freaking um, uh, military base. How god awful annoying is that? I really want to get this piece of ground clutter really quickly before I. before they get it for some stupid reason, you know? Thank you. Yowzes. World's best uh, tail gunner there. Let's get our boost on. And let's go back over to the military base that we should have freaking captured, I guess, before we left. It's going to be one of those games where you can't trust your uh, bots. Ah, man, it's kind of just chilly out. Uh, for Florida, anyway. It's like 30 degrees, 34 degrees, something like that. Not 38 degrees. I was over exaggerating my beard. It's cold enough that when you take the dog out and he's walking, and he's like, you know, I'm gonna pop a squat here, and he gets on the grass. He's like, you know, I never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna we don't need to do this now. It's a pretty fun walk this morning, actually. All right, so straight up. Maybe 410. You wish you were me. I tell myself that all the time. Not just about planes. So let's turn this thing around. See if we can get this godforsaken military base. They're about to get a mining facility. Um, I'm giving. I guess we're not really wanting for points, are we? I'm just annoyed that I've got to be back here. Like, wasn't I already here? I was already here. I know I was. Don't act like I wasn't. But it's okay. This plane. One of the great things about this plane is it gets where it wants to go quickly. It's, you know, maneuverable enough to do what you want it to do. Please don't rocket me in the face. Dang it. And, um, you know, it's flexible enough. It's one of the more flexible of the heavy fighters, in my opinion, of the three that are available at Tier 9. Ah. Dang it, this game could turn quickly because they've got that rocket base and we don't. I mean, if you're in an F-84, what, F-84B, F-84F, and you still have all your freaking rockets, you're doing it wrong. It's the wrong way. It's way up there. Alright, so let's get this uh, 84B first. Oh, there's freaking everybody's over here. Normally I say go up. Oh, well, you know what? I will say go up. Okay, freaking finally. Gotta pulse our guns because I don't want to overheat them since I've got to get the full health of an F2H. All right, now we got this XP58, which can be a pain in the butt, but I've got full health, so even if this tail gunner gets on me, I'm not too worried. All right, um, no, we want to go for the TL first. That freaking J8M is going to be like trying to swat a 400 mile an hour gnat. Actually, we might have just gotten ourselves into some trouble here. Dog fighting in this plane is not a dog fighter, right? Hitting the air brakes. Oh, sweet baby, hit the jet. Hit the gnat. Hit the gnat. Got the gnat. Uh, somebody's behind me that I don't want behind me. Boost straight up. Yeah, F2G won't be able to. S you can't hang with this, man. Love the F2G. But can't hang with this. What are you? You're the F2G. Excellent. Flip this bad boy over. Let's get this F-84B. What's down there? Some GAs. Come on over, heat. Cool. Cool story. Oh, another freaking... Oh, hey, this guy. I remember you. Let's not crash into the mountain. 
as he says, as he almost crashes into the mountain. Uh, oh crap, I let him flip around, didn't I? Ah, oh, crap at a crap, crap. Uh, that's a pretty stupid play of mine. He's the old F7. I've got more speed than he does, which is super nice. Let's see if I can just keep in my straight line, take out this 329 while I'm at it. Uh, he's turned around, so good. So we're going to boost around. Get this 329 while we're at it. They've got both mining facilities, so this is definitely not good. But we can't lose this freaking military base because that would be even even more or less good. Oh, flip a dip. Bomber. Um, I think we're ahead enough on points to where... Yeah, because they've got a minute before they get each of those. Screw you. Going home. Um, oh man, this is actually going to be really close. I know we show that we're a ridiculous amount of points ahead. They've only got three planes, so let's go kill these three planes. That's really what it comes down to. That's going to be the easiest way to confirm. Uh, make sure that we win. Uh, they've got the center. We're in a whole heck of a lot of trouble, though. Got this FJ-1 is definitely priority target. He doesn't know we're here yet. soon. Too late. RB-17, screw you, man. Using all my boost, I cannot let them take that. Oh, shenanigans. We've got 11 seconds and then they're going to win this. Uh, we lost the game, didn't we? Because I didn't kill that freaking multi-roll. Oh my god, how freaking annoying. I didn't kill that. Well, I guess I didn't get the bomber at the end either. Because I didn't capture enough sectors, to be honest. I focused too much on defending the military base. Well, alright. Dang it. Alright, so I got 22 frags and 20,000 personal points. It's so like the the lowest <laughs> the lowest I think I felt in a while after such a dominant uh, performance. Not to take anything away from Bet Nick, um, he did really well in the FJ1. Uh, great plane, um, and, and like I said, 14 frags for him. He didn't do anything wrong, right? He he did the right things. I was circling around the same area for too damn long. But gotta go Maguire's an ace, a Koza dub, a freaking wing legend, of course, because I got this. I got five freaking tokens. <laughs> All right, fine. So you know what? I'm still gonna post this because this is a good game, right? It shows you what this plane can do. This loss was based on my mentality, not on this, not on this plane. Um, I just I freaking love the F2H. Like if I'm having a downer of a day and I'm flying, you hop in the F2H and you're doing fine. Even in against ten, tier 10 planes, you know, um, you know, I know XF90 is, is you know, the top dog or so, whatever you want to say. The F2H has its place, though. A heck of a lot more maneuverability than, uh, than any of the tier 10s. And it's just, it's such a fun plane. It's just a fun plane, and you guys know me. I like having fun, so um, this is definitely it. It's my lucky lady. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay, um, and hopefully the next one will be a win. We'll see. I hope you have a good day. Bye.